Next thing we need to do and learn is how do I cut video that's already on a timeline? How do I mess with the video once it's already in the timeline? And that is fairly simple. I do want to mention something that I didn't mention in the last video. When you drag a video onto the timeline, it's going to create what's called a sequence. And that sequence is going to have its name up here. You can see the sequence on the left. It's going to make and create it down in your media files. You may have noticed that when you first drag the video down. And this is going to be your entire project, essentially. Um, you can have multiple sequences so that you can edit different scenes at once and then compile them all together onto one sequence for when you render stuff out so everything doesn't get as cluttered. But that's a little more advanced. We're going to stay simple and basic. But I just had to let you know exactly what that was. So in order to cut your video and edit it and whatnot, let's say we don't want any of this at the beginning. Um, there's two ways to do it. Oh, well, technically three, but if you look over here, there's different tools in this little dialog box. The default tool is the selection tool. Um, the shortcut for that is V. And I want you to learn these shortcuts because you'll be using them way more often and it'll make you way more efficient if you use shortcuts versus having to find the tool that you need every single time. The razor tool is the shortcut C. Now what that lets you do is the cursor now becomes a razor and you can go anywhere on the clip and start cutting it up and just make cuts. And this can be helpful if you're going for more of a creative um, style and you don't necessarily need everything, a specific piece of the video. You just need chunks of it and you want to you split it up or do something like that. Another way to do it, and is, this is the way I typically cut my videos is let's say you want to cut it on a specific point on the video you don't want to have to hunt around with the mouse go ahead and hit the V key um, and control Z so what control Z does is it un will undo everything and the more times you hit it the more times it will undo and see there we're back to where we were we just undid everything the video is back to one piece by pressing control Z over and over. Just to make sure again, hit V to make sure we're on the selection tool. And this is a shortcut I use a lot. You will scroll the playhead right here to the exact moment that you want the video to be cut at. And then you will select the video and press Control K. It's easy to use the right control and K or command if you're using a Mac. This will cut the video directly on the playhead. So you can scroll through, find exact the exact moment you want to cut it, select it, and cut. So that there is no question that the video has been cut directly on where you need it to be. I'm going to undo that. I'm What you can do now is select the video and hit the delete key on your keyboard. All right, now that now we have space here. Simple, right? So let's go ahead and do this a few more times with Control K. Uh, let's go to our B-roll folder. And I'm going to bring in a shot here of my old phone. The trusty Nexus 5. And let's go ahead and set our endpoint like we did before with I. Move along somewhere. Press O to set our out point. And then we're going to drag just the video track here onto the timeline. And we're going to do that again over here. And this time we're just going to bring in, I'm going to bring in this huge section here. So we've got this video here and let me cut to a different spot. So we're on the timeline already and we can just go ahead and scroll the playhead to a point that we wanted to start right here. And we're, we're going to press control K and we're going to cut that and then delete this. Now you're gonna have a huge space here. All right, now that we've learned how to cut our video, go ahead and do that a few times, get used to it, and get used to using the shortcuts that I just taught you. Once you're comfortable using these shortcuts, let's go ahead and move on to the next video.